Today we are going to simplify your responsive editing game. Divi 5 new responsive editor is here to revolutionize how we create and craft websites, bringing device, hover and sticky stages into one seamless panel for faster and smarter adjustments. And in this video, we are going to dive deep into how this feature works and how it can ease your design workflow with Divi 5's latest tools. So whether you are a beginner or a pro, get ready to unlock a smoother, more intuitive experience. So let's get started. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Visual Builder. Now, if you want to deep dive and learn more about our DB5 responsive editor, then make sure you check out the blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, check out the link in the video description. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. So let's kick things off by uncovering the responsive editor in TV5, which is a game changer that streamlines how you view and manage responsive design. This feature centralizes changes as you switch between devices, cutting down your unnecessary clicks and giving you a clean overview of your responsive values. A handy icon turns blue when settings are modified and clicking it opens a panel to tweak all view boards at once, offering you greater control and faster design process. Let's dive in in our visual builder and let's see how all this works. So here we are inside our DB5 visual builder and this is a sample page that we have created and there are two ways by which we can do the responsive editing for this website or for this page. Number one is by using our custom breakpoints. So by default, we have these three breakpoints on the very top. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and add more breakpoints. So if you click on these three dots here, we can enable maybe phone wide, maybe tablet wide or maybe a wide screen. Or if you want, you can also enable ultra wide as well. And once we save that and let's update this, we are going to see all these breakpoints right on the top. Now, right now for this layout, if we check it on mobile, this is how it's going to look. Now, once we have switched this into a mobile view, we can go ahead and do all the designing change, maybe the font style or maybe the font size or anything that we want. And we can do the same for different screen sizes and for different devices. And then comes the second way that is responsive editing. Now, let's say we are working on this title here and we want to customize this text. So we are just going to enter some dummy text, something like this. And now once we have entered this text, we can see our text here. Now in order to design how it's going to look on different devices, we don't have to switch it from here. In fact, we can instantly switch the look from here. That is edit responsive values. So if we click on this, it's going to open up a new pop-up box here. And in this panel, we can enter any text that we want to display on different screen sizes. In the same way, if we go in design, we go to heading text and we go to font size. So right now it is set on 60. Now, if we go ahead and click on the responsive values, we can see what values are now defined for different screen sizes. Now, because we have added 60 as the base value for desktop, it takes that same value by default for all the devices. And if you already know that what value you want for your mobile or maybe for your tablet, you can change it instantly from here. So if we click on this, it's going to instantly switch to mobile and we can simply enter the value here and we can see the things reflecting right here. In the same way, we can change the text size for mobile landscape. So if we click on this, it's instantly going to switch the screen and we can simply type in the value like this. And we can do the same for all the other screen dimensions. If we come back here in the content and now if we click on this edit responsive value, here we can see all the values defined for different screen sizes. Let's say for mobile, we want to show. So this is going to show only for mobile. And now if we switch back to mobile landscape and we can do the same for different screen sizes, let's say for tablet. And once we are done, we can simply close this. And now if we go ahead and check on different devices, this is how it's going to switch the text. So this is how you can use the responsive editing in DV5.
Number one, streamline breakpoint control. Now this features bring device, hover and sticky states into one clean panel, slashing the number of clicks and making responsive design more intuitive. It's all about efficiency and keeping your focus on creativity. Number two, edit multiple devices at once. One of the main highlights of editing values across desktop, tablets or mobile phone is simultaneously done in a single panel. Adjust fonts, paddings or any property and changes apply instantly, saving time and ensuring consistency across all devices. Now, DB5 Responsive Editor sets a new benchmark for responsive web design, swapping DB4's clunky tab for a sleek intuitive panel. So whether you are starting out or tackling complex layouts, it saves times and enhances precision. So go ahead and dive into DB5, explore this feature and check out our blog post for more tips and tricks. Let's build smarter together. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more DB and WordPress updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.